You know, I've been uh, doing journalism for a few decades now, and I've never seen a period of change like this. Uh, the field is changing with incredible rapidity, and uh, which makes it very scary because people are losing jobs, and it makes it very exciting because new forms of journalism are being invented. Uh, so you know, on you know websites, blogs, and then uh, Twitter feeds, all of which have become tremendously important. Obviously, Facebook and other forms of social media have tremendous journalistic significance, as well as uh, other forms of uh, significance. So uh, it's it's a intense, tremendous time, and and I think. It's been bad in many ways, again, because you know, people are losing jobs and it's not clear how journalists are going to make money when, in a day when uh, uh, anyone can be a journalist. You know, in many ways, journalism gets worse because it's done by amateurs more. It's, uh, you know, perhaps a little sloppier, perhaps a little bit more... Uh, filled with unsupported opinion and arguments, but in some ways I think it gets better because more people are doing it, because more intelligent people are being attracted to the field. You know, in the old era of journalism, the traditional era of journalism, particularly in the United States, uh, there was this constant pressure to be objective, to, uh, you know, to not have, you know, not say what you thought, just to give both sides of the story. But one of the things that we're being reminded of here is that stories don't just have two sides. And sometimes the two sides are not balanced. And, uh, and to give both sides is itself a form of dishonesty, because sometimes one side is more correct than the other side. And I think journalists are starting to understand in the United States, where again, uh, the cult of objectivity has been strongest, journalists are trying to understand that their responsibilities might extend beyond just presenting sides to uh, trying to figure out what's right and what's, uh, what, what, what's true.